my hair. My hair is just a lost cause. I took a shower yesterday and then I just let it dry. And it's doing weird. Like it looks like a like I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> I'm wearing a scarf of hair. I guess I'm not the only one to complain about my quarantine hair. But welcome to Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. It's um we did it. We made it through another week. It's exciting. Cheers. Okay, I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know. There's always like. After a second, a second after I share this and press go live, there is one person always watching. It's got to be the same person, right? It's got to be one person who either subscribes to my channel and so like gets a little notification and just taps it every time. Or it's somebody who is just like sitting on Facebook waiting. Like it doesn't matter what, like, what time because I've been doing weird times lately. It doesn't matter what time. There's always one person watching. Is it me? Does it count me as watching it? I don't know. If you are the person watching, could you please just in the chat right now, just say like where you came from, maybe who you are, if that's not like something you don't want to let the world know. Uh, I got to know. I got to know. I'm so curious. All right. Flashback Friday. The chat is empty, so I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume that that one person is me, honestly. I don't know why they would register me as watching my own stream because I'm like in a special little extra out, out of YouTube pocket dimension here, but it's, it's very possible. Um, anyway, I've got my D100s. I moved my dice yesterday, and so then I had to come in here. So instead of just like bringing my dice back to where they were. I decided to, I have like <laughs> dead drops <laughs> left all around the house of like computers that could stream at any time. So um, I just sort of like wander over to a computer and turn it on and start YouTubing. It's a it's sort of where my life is now. <laughs> um, but I've got my D100 here. It's like impossible to read. I picked like the worst one, um, but I can read it. So we'll just go with what I see on the dice. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is a lower number than usual. Let me try to show it to you. 49. 49. So 49 years ago. 49 years ago today. All right. As per usual, I have to attempt at least to do my math. So that would be 40 would be 1980, which is wild that that is 40 years ago. So the nine would be 71. So let's see, am I right? 2020 minus 49, 1971, all right. All right, okay. Wikipedia, wikipedia.org. Uh, what is it today? May 29th. 1971. Yeah, May. May. Ooh, we're coming to the end of May, guys. Were you aware? Well, no. Interesting. So, already interesting. It was a Saturday. Um, there is not. The 1971 Indianapolis 500 is won by Al Unser the second year in a row. The race is marred by a spectacular crash in which a pace car skids into a temporary grandstand packed with photographers. 22 people are injured some seriously. Do they die, Wikipedia? Are you going to, like, this isn't, we're not in media res right now. You could tell me what happened to these people. The other thing that Wikipedia says is that Rod Redwing, 66, died. He's a Native American actor and world's quickest, no, world's greatest quick draw artist. I got to know about him. Because uh, what is a quick draw artist? I have a lot of questions. Rod Redwing. He was born in 1904 in New York City. Um... 
sorry, I had gone away from my, um, ooh, ooh, goodness, sorry, okay. Okay, but he, he was he claimed to be a Native American actor. Oh, and was a noted as a quick draw artist with six guns. So with six guns, like six guns, like guns of six were a specific type. Um, oh, interesting. Research shows that in 1940, his birthplace was listed as India and not New York City. Interesting. Um, other sources say his real name was Roderick Raj, Raj Prakai Jr. I, I do not know how to pronounce that. Um, he was one of the top gun, knife, tomahawk, and whip instructors in Hollywood. After claiming that he began in films in Cecil DeMille's The Squaw Man, although no cast list shows that he acted in that movie, Red Wing soon became a gun handling coach to Alan Ladd, Ronald Reagan, Burt Lancaster, Glenn Ford, Richard Windmark, Wid, Wid, Widmark, Anthony Quinn, Charlton Heston, Dean Martin, Fred McMurray, and many other actors. He performed Alan Ladd's fancy gun spinning scene, seen in the film Shane during the cinematic showdown. There's no caption. Um, I gotta figure out what the gun spinning scene is. Do, 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 do. Alan Ladd, fancy gun spinning. Alan Ladd, fancy gun spinning. I'll tell you, Rod Red, Red Wing becomes the is the second um, result when you Google that. Um, Shane. Okay, nineteen fifty three film Shane. Gun spinning, nineteen fifty three Shane. There we go. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Is that what I'm looking for? Stand by. It just, his holster just flipped all the way down. So this woman is probably that little boy's mother. Come on, Shane. <laughs> that kid's face. Whoa, and then he whistled. Wow. All right, you guys should Google that. Um, gun spinning. I just want to see the gun spinning. Gun is a tool. Shane comes to town. This little kid, though. This little kid. Uh. 
don't they just let their kid just sort of run around with that right huh okay they right the other gun that the kid had was it was like artfully carved Oh man, this kid, when his eyes get wide, his whole face becomes like a different landscape than here. <laughs> oh. Okay. I just want to see the gun. This gun spinning? I think they were calling Shane a pig. <laughs> so a pump. What a what a city. They don't know what's up. Shane can spin his gun. Be back. Eggs and taters. I feel like they're not saying actual words to. That's a big soda pop. <laughs> well, that was a riveting. <sighs> I just want to see the gun spinning. Gun spinning. Uh, what is this guy's name? Rod Redwing. Gun spinning. Well, the Fedora Lounge? What does that mean? Oh, it's a movie website. Okay. I've gotten, I've just fully derailed. <laughs> I'm just fully off the rails now. So Rod Redwing, whose name is probably not his real name. Um, uh, he was in Wyatt Earp. He played Mr. Brother, who was killed by four-man Dry Gulch gang several episodes of... Oh, wait, look, there was a period there, but my mouse cursor was covering it up. He was killed by the four-man Dry Gulch gang 
Several episodes of the series are spent as Marshall Earp hunts down the gang, one of whom has been given a haven by his girlfriend, the daughter of a rancher. All of the gang are ultimately hanged. Cool. So I'm looking at his film credits here. Um, he is uncredited in most things. I'm not sure how that happens. Like, I don't know what uncredited means in terms of, like, why are they able to now credit him on this Wikipedia page? I don't know. Um, but let's see. Let's go through. In uh, 1942, Son of Fury, he was an uncredited native. Uh, in Daredevils of the West in 1943, he was an uncredited Indian. In Frontier Fury in 1943, he was an uncredited captured Indian. Uh, in Sonora Stagecoach in 1944, he was an uncredited England, England, <laughs> uncredited Indian. Uh, in 1944, Rainbow Island, he was uncredited as the Queen's Guard. That's one of these things is not like the other. I would be interested in knowing more about that movie. The only problem is it does not have a link to it. Well, like it doesn't exist. Objective Burma. Uh, he was uncredited as Sergeant Chadu. Uh, Out of the Depths in 1945, Mark Rawhide. That was not uncredited. He had a name. The Scarlet Horseman in 1946. He was a Comanche warrior. Uncredited. In Singing in the Corn in 1946, he was Indian Brave. Credited. Unconquered in 1947, Indian uncredited. Um, interestingly, in Intrigue in 1947, he was spy in editor's office, uncredited. Um, let's see, he was um, uh, Indian lookout, waiter, temple spectator, and Samson and Delilah. Native cab driver, Indian guard, Hassam, running deer, son of Geronimo, Pete Little Wolf, Red Knife. Oh, no. Creature from the Black Lagoon. He was Lewis, the expedition foreman. That was uncredited. Um, in the Naked Jungle, he was an Indian. Um, yeah, so I'm catching a lot that he played a lot of Indians, and in most of these, it would suggest that, um, it was a Native American Indian that he played. Sometimes he played people of generic Middle Eastern brownness, it would appear, um, he played an Egyptian in one of these. He played uh, I can't tell if that's I don't know what I'm gonna make sure that this isn't a racial slur. <laughs> oh, okay. He played an Indonesian person. Um in something. In the story of Dr. Wassel. Um Hassam, I want to know what Thunder in the East was. Hassam is just one of those names that you use when you don't want to specify where in sort of the Middle East you are. Um, okay, so it was set in India, so that's not the Middle East. Um, after India had gained its independence from Britain, Oh, Alan Ladd, look at that guy. That's uh, that's um Shane. That's Shane, our, our pal Shane, with the Saudi pop. Uh, he flies into a small Indian state, intending to sell weapons to local Maharaja, whose capital is facing an attack from a bandit army. He is opposed by the Maharaja's prime minister, who is a proponent of Mohandas Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence. He also falls in love with a blind woman, Deborah Kerr. Well... There's a lot there. <laughs> uh, cool. Interesting. Um, I'm really quite bummed 
that I can't find a clip of this gun spinning. I can't find a clip of like anybody gun spinning. Maybe if I try a little more generically. Gun spinning. No. It just auto corrected or auto filled with something that I had already. What did I do? <laughs> I want to go back. Give me back the Google that I'm used to. What happened? I just like lost Google. Gun spinning. Okay, it came back. Whew. Whew. Okay. Let's see. Um. Gun spinning 101. I don't want to learn how to do it. I guarantee it. Wait, where's this? You guys wearing a polo. <laughs> I want to see when this was uploaded. It's got the old. Um, Where are they? Oh, he's singing back and forth. Oh, look, now they're not in black and white. Anymore. Well, I'm glad you have. Oh, look, he's throwing the guns, he's chuckling them. Interesting stuff. It is definitely a hobby that at least this guy has. Um, and it looked more like his job. Sorry, I just gotta let my dog out. <laughs> it looked more like his job. He was dressed up, he went in world records, all that stuff. I think they found the squirrel. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, we haven't learned a whole lot, but I just didn't want to look up anything about the Indianapolis 500. I can really quickly look at who Al Unser was. Oh, there was just a picture of him. Um, He began racing at in nineteen fifty seven at age eighteen. Um, nineteen seventy one is what I said, right? Okay, so his bid to become the first three time consecutive Indianapolis five hundred champion was thwarted when he finished second to the Mark Donahue in nineteen seventy two. He was famous for his quick pit stops, which I would I would submit is not something he was doing. He's not the pit crew. Anyway, sort of a um, quiet day in history today. Uh, we learned a bit about a couple of guys, um, one of whom somehow thought that pretending to be Native American would serve him better than being Indian in America. So there's a little insight into that. Um, it turns out he played both Indians and Native Americans. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if his strategy really panned out. Um, and we learned a little bit about gun spinning, but not as much as we would like. I will have to watch the 1953 film, 43 film, Shane, 
in order to see the gun spinning thing that everyone's talking so much about. But I'm not going to watch that movie because it looked dumb from the little bit that I saw. Like, I'm not a Western super fan. I can appreciate some of the more, you know, famous, popular ones. Um, I grew up watching them, so I can appreciate them nostalgically, if nothing else. But that one looked dumb. If you've seen it, if you've seen Shane, and you want to tell me that it was better than I'm putting it out to be, feel free to do so. See, now there's two people watching, so one of them cannot be me. Second person who is watching, please, in the chat, somebody listen to me in the chat. Say where you're, where you found this um, video. Is your chat on the on this side as well? I don't know. I could be pointing to the very wrong side. What about this side? Maybe this way. But this finger doesn't work as well. Okay. No, nobody wants to do what I'm asking them to do. Maybe nobody is uh, watching. Maybe they're just listening to my dulcet tone. All right. Well, regardless, I. I have a very busy day ahead of me. I have some serious Minecraft to play and some animals to cross. And I think I actually had a couple of things I had to do for work too. I'm gonna have to think about that for a second to remember what those things were. Um, but yeah, everybody have a good Friday. And in case I don't see you, which I won't, have a good weekend, make good choices, don't do drugs, And stay in school, if at all possible. Don't ever leave school if you can avoid it. I mean, it worked for me.